Today in Bel Air is mixed after the release of a video showing the man who police believe is responsible for killing Rachel Morin on the Monpa Trail. As WMAR 2 News, Jeff Hager reports it seemingly has raised even more questions than it answered. He turns from the camera, walking away from a home invasion and assault in Los Angeles on a young woman back in March. The same man who police say killed Rachel Morin along the Mon Paw Trail. This DNA evidence has come back as a match. Unfortunately, that suspect has not been positively identified, but he did leave behind his DNA. While the video moves investigators one step closer to catching the killer, it never shows his face and gives the public no reason to drop their guard. We just don't have an, enough of what he looks like, which is very concerning. Obviously, we want to know more. Um, as a parent, I'm very concerned for my, for my daughter and her friends. The video also raises questions over how the suspect made it from Los Angeles to Bel Air, more than 2,600 miles, or whether he was from here in the first place. While the Ma and Pa Trail is well known to locals, it remains a hidden gem to most outsiders. We'd have to have some type of information, and sadly, was she targeted? Because I talked to another runner who saw her at the same time many, many nights. So I, I don't know. It's, that's what's disconcerting, too, is we really don't know. What we do know is that police now have a better idea of who killed Rachel Moran. We believe the suspect to be approximately five foot nine, 160 pounds, and of Hispanic descent. If only someone could put a name to him before he has a chance to strike again. It was such a brutal crime, a person like that would certainly do it again. In Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.